Is there ever a good kind of crisis? I can generally think of only one, the crisis that doesn't happen. The one where an organization spots the warning signs and takes prompt action to prevent the worst. Too often the warning signs are ignored and the organization finds itself trying to pick up the pieces later. In February, both NBC News and Fox found themselves in situations that could have been avoided. NBC went into shock, while Fox seemed to enjoy the ride. There had been reports for years, including Facebook posts from the soldiers in Iraq at the time, that evening news anchor Brian Williams was untruthful when he said he was in a helicopter that was hit by a rocket-propelled grenade in 2003. And there were a number of complaints that he fudged or fabricated stories in his reporting of such major events as the Hurricane Katrina disaster in New Orleans in 2005. Surely NBC News must have been aware of these reports, and red flags should have gone up. Are we to believe that nobody ever commented on it in the newsroom or mentioned it to management? If so, why was there no follow-up? Having worked at NBC News and being well familiar with its commitment to truth and ethics, I can only assume that management chose to bury its head in the sand. If so, it was a serious mistake. The star system is part of the problem here. People like Williams and O'Reilly are basically allowed to make their own rules at the networks. If such performers are successful, they are virtually untouchable. They are rarely held accountable for what they say outside their programs. It's hard to believe also that Fox hadn't heard and failed to check out rumors that O'Reilly was padding his resume with some pretty spectacular stories. But Fox may look at this as a good crisis. It can build audience for O'Reilly and project the image Fox seeks, that of a team of brash truth-tellers under siege by leftist media. It plays to their audience demographic. Ironically, both men had served in danger zones during their careers. Thus, there was no need to falsify or exaggerate to look good. So why do people with so much to lose make up or embellish stories? Perhaps the answer is this. Fame, the warm glow of the spotlight, can be a narcotic. Some celebrities handle it well. Others need a regular fix of wow factor attention. Whatever the reason for these tall tales, these situations should never have reached this point. Network management needs to take a hard look at what it chooses to ignore in the pursuit of ratings and riches. That's true for NBC. For Fox, maybe not. <laughs>